Feature Friday. Friday. The freshest. <sighs> things, which is really weird. But uh, one of you guys sent me this article, which I thought was super interesting, because we we were questioning why singing is such a popular thing in the Philippines, right? And then one of you said, "Well, have have a have a look at this article, which explains the reason why basically the Philippines was the first country to make singing." a home recreational activity through, of course, the invention of karaoke. That's awesome. So, so it was invented in the Philippines. So it was actually, it, the, the BBC wrote this, so it's a reliable source. It's and it cool. says, uh, the world's first karaoke machine, the Duke 8, was built by, by a Japanese inventor and musician, Daisuke Inu, in 1971. So it's karaoke 70s. machine. It's, it's, very, it's very, very recent. It's pretty recent. But it is a Filipino inventor, Roberto del Rosario, who holds the machine's patent. Oh, wow. Really? He developed the karaoke sing-along system in 1975. Wow, so five years later. Late, uh, about four, four years, years later. later. So really, karaoke and singing along as a recreational activity, it's fairly new. Like People weren't I doing that. I didn't know. Me neither. People weren't I doing that. I thought that I was like part of like... The 50s, how, something you were doing the 50s How bizarre or is something? that? And then he says, since then, singing has become a part of central pop culture in the Philippines. Singing is the focus of several modern reality shows and game shows, and every Filipino celebrity, even boxers like Manny Pacquiao, enjoys singing publicly. It's sort of like a... It's like the well, nation's they're, they're, pastime. I guess. What, what would be like... It would be like, that's their version of Dominos for... Or no, that's their version of Fubolito back home. I guess back home truly would be bolas criolla, wouldn't it? Good point. Yeah, yeah. everybody plays bolas criolla. Here in, in Britain, it would be football. Uh, maybe in America, it would be baseball, baseball. Yeah. or American football. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there. It's singing. It's singing. That's freaking insane. Yeah. And I, 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 th I also that. think, I, I mentioned it before, but no one really uh, replied to that part of the podcast. Um, where I said, I think basketball is really popular there too. Yeah, it is. It is very popular. However, they don't have like a really strong, or not, not strong, I don't know about their talent level, I know nothing about basketball. So stay, you know, don't roast because it is. But they, it, they don't seem to have a, a major uh, uh, popular league, basketball league. Maybe it's big in the country? Probably. It's the same as like in, in Venezuela. And like our baseball league or is, the, is so big in South America. Oh, the basketball league used to be huge. You know, True. Mundo, you, True. Good point. The problem our is, you know, because... Yeah. The funding of the of sporting events and stuff like that went to crap. Just like the country has itself. Has always been crap. Even yeah. when the country was acceptable and an acceptable place. Yeah. Like in the 60s, 70s. Even then. No, the, in the, the 80s, the, 90s, 2000, it was fine. No, but even then they had problems with funding. They, yeah. they come from the government. They, uh, sports and arts have never been the center of attention in Venezuela. They, they have never really been like... Well, we're They've never really had a golden era when it comes to like governmental funding. Yeah, well, we're not known worldwide for sports talent or 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 <coughs> arts, really. We're no. known either for beauty. Yeah. Or, I guess to some extent back in the day, tourism. Yeah, good point. Uh, but I think uh, baseball, ba major league baseball, we're known for oil. Oil, that's of course, known yeah, yeah. For. petroleum, yeah. That's oil. What they're known for. Yeah. So that was I thought that was super interesting because. Then all these different sort of like karaoke machines started being invent invented, and uh, and the most and then that's when they started creating uh, karaoke bars in the Philippines too. That's fantastic. Yeah, and one of the most popular tracks ever was in, in the karaoke scene is "My Way" by Frank Sinatra. No way. Yeah. So this be like you know, I did a yeah. So you get free. That's why I remember <laughs> when we went. We went to like uh, someone's house for like New Year's, and uh, th that was the thing to do. Let's sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you went to any Filipino household, yeah. that's what you went to do. You you went to eat a double, and just sing in the karaoke machine. There's a bunch of other foods oh, I don't remember. Hello, hello. Oh my God, I could just eat mountains and mountains of that stuff. What, what was that stuff they used to put? Was it like baba tea or something? No, hello, hello. Is that what it is? Yeah, hello, hello is like shaved ice with like condensed milk and different syrups. Como and they have like, yeah, but they have like jelly bits and like fruits and like 
V flavored ice flavored <laughs> uve flavored ice cream as well is so good yeah, it's like leche condensada that sounds like, so actually oh, yeah. ever is yummy it's it heal. Well. yeah i wonder if if you are watching from the philippines and uh, we just did a philippine special so i i am pretty sure a lot of you guys will be from or some of you guys at least will be from the philippines hello wa- my primos i wonder <laughs> i wonder if in your family that's also the case because that might be sort of like the generalization but i don't mm-hmm. know whether that would be genuinely true uh well based on the people that on we the know, response i yeah, think it and is and the response that we've gotten i think that's it what about dance oh anybody dances they dance they love to dance because that's in parties. south america is dance yeah i guess and uh yeah that's true instead of singing, singing we would dance yeah yeah that's there, true. it seems Like we would have a few beers and just sit in the porch of our, or in front of our house and, and just put music and start dancing yeah. and then the whole quadra, like start, the whole block starts dancing yeah. with you. Very, very yeah. interesting. Very interesting. And then, how. ah, back home everybody plays an instrument. Everybody, something, a, a, yeah. Yeah, anybody something. can play anything. Like charrasca, I don't even know how you call that. Like the cuatro, there's always some somebody Guitar, can piano, do something. Drums. They don't have to. I don't do know, l- sticks and hit him on the ev- ground. Anything, and... yeah. You can make music out of anything. That's yeah. actually a thing back home. I yeah. wonder if it's the same in, in, in the Philippines. What other thing that I thought was really interesting after watching the, the Philippines special? Oh, yeah. One of the comments, which was super nice, was that a, a lot of people were mentioning that the fact that, you know, some of the artists we, we have covered on the channel okay. and, and, and we have sort of featured, if you like, um, that they're very close to the reaction community. Oh. And uh, they, they sort of so- sometimes... Uh, uh, you know, sometimes music reviewers or, 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 or other musicians that have started on YouTube, they sometimes go to the Philippines and then some of these artists... Collaborate. Go, no, not collaborate, but meet them and, and spend some time together and that maybe discuss so stuff. Fun. That's awesome. I, I think... I, I believe that most artists... And most people speak English out there. Yeah, that, that, that's true. Second most spoken language. Yeah. So I believe... Anyone speaks it. So everyone and everybody. That's pretty cool. True. And then apparently Chavacano. Chavacano is a thing. It's From like there, it's, it's kind of like Spanish. Yeah, it's like a a dialect that comes from Spanish. Yeah. It I bet it sounds a bit different. There was this there was this I remember there was this person. She was quite an elderly woman and she would always tell me uh she was she was in one of the tennis clubs I used to train at when I was uh, when I was younger. And uh she would always she would always tell me that her grandmother used to speak a version of Spanish that was so old, no one no longer speaks it. She was from the Philippines. Ah, maybe that is it. Maybe I don't, I don't remember what it was like. They they would even she, she remember a few words, and they would it wouldn't even be close. But it it would have the same sort of intonation and and R's and stuff.